Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and today's video which is going to be another anti haul I have done a couple of these in the past and I will leave everyone linked in my description box If you want to check them out and I have done some different spins on them like I should have palettes I don't want to buy and that basically it I will record a like anti haul right after this where when I talk about makeup I want to purchase but I'm kind of talking myself out of don't know might be a hit or miss haven't seen anyone do this but I thought I would give it a go and uh, ignore the dog in the background so <laughs> let's get started so my first product is from Too Faced obviously because it feels like in every single video or in every single anti haul or will I buy it or all of these kinds of video ideas it feels like I'm always mentioning Colourpop and Too Faced and today is no exception I will not purchase the Too Faced Gold, uh, let's see, Too Faced Chocolate Gold collection. I am not interested in anything in this collection. I showed this collection to my boyfriend and he actually felt... He didn't like the highlight. I can't remember what he said about the highlight, but I do know that he was not buying it. He didn't think that that was cute at all, and I. But he doesn't know makeup. Um, and then I showed him the eyeshadow palette. I showed him the inside and also the packaging. And let me tell you, he's a little bit like me. When I, whenever I show him like a nude palette, uh, he's like, "That's boring." I'm like, yeah, right? And then I'm bringing up something very colorful and fun. And he's like, yeah, that's great. That's beautiful. I'm like, yeah, I know. But anyway, he said that he thought that the packaging on the Too Faced palette was a little bit... It looked a little plasticky um, and cheap. I don't know if I can agree with that because I actually think that the packaging is stunning. I think it looks amazing. So don't know if I can agree on that but the other product I'm just not buying uh, no I'm not gonna purchase that I'm not gonna pick anything up um, I'm just not that interested the next product I'm gonna talk about is from KKW It's releasing five highlights and it says that it's loose powder but they look like to be in um, the containers that Stila had for their uh, cream eyeshadows and then she's also matching these highlights with glosses but the prices are $160 for the entire like bundle and then you can purchase the dual gloss and matching highlighter for 32 bucks and the thing is that these highlights, I don't even know how big they are, but they look small, so they kind of look like the uh, MAC pigments. I find this collection to be a little bit interesting because I don't really know how they were thinking. Like, okay, now we are releasing a lip gloss, and why not do a highlight with it? Because everyone watch, wants to match their highlight and gloss. What? No? You cannot only buy the gloss and you cannot only buy the pigment. I am going to call this a pigment and not a an highlight. I don't get it. Why can't I just purchase the gloss or the highlight? Why do I have to purchase a highlight and the gloss? Because if I want the white gloss, but then I might want the gold highlight, I can't get that. Or I have to purchase both of them. And 32 bucks is not a little bit of money. Sorry, but I'm gonna pass on those. Another product I won't be purchasing is the Kat Von D Metal Matte Mini Palette. Um, I did not purchase the Metal Matte Palette um, last year, but definitely you can see it <laughs> in the back. So, and I did purchase it like a month ago. I know I'm a little bit far behind or yeah, I'm far behind. Uh, but that's not the point. But all of the matte colors in the mini palette is already existing in the large palette. So, and also the the shimmer shades doesn't really intrigue me. I'm not for the golden brown kind of shades. So I'm gonna pass. Next up, we have Jeffree Star that has released a holiday collection and. I have to say that I'm really interested in the shade 
that's like a teal green kind of shade almost like my nail not really but you know that teal shade it's mm, I would love that and also the packaging he's killing it it's gorge but okay I have a little bit of a problem Lately, he has released so many new liquid lipsticks, he has released so many new skin frosts, and I am not up for buying an entire collection of lipsticks just because it's a collection. No, I will purchase the shades that I want. I don't care if they are new, if they're old. His skin frost, I've talked about this so many times on my channel, but they have like a weird film on them, which I think I have to repress them to make them work and that's i might do that in the future but or i might do that soon i don't know but as for right now no so i'm a little bit on a fence when it comes to jeffrey because it feels like he's always releasing uh liquid lipsticks and skin frosts and i would like him to step out of that i would love to see him do uh he doesn't have to do an entire new eyeshadow palette but you know do something maybe and um a quad or just a single eyeshadows or um a foundation or concealer or a brow product or you know whatever but i would love for him to just step out of the lipstick and highlight area that would be bomb i did talk about the juvia's place and the douche palette that's coming out right now or it's actually already out um oh, that purple shade in the palette oh my freaking lord god almighty have mercy on us all i love <laughs> greens and purples i think the greens and purples are like the only thing i use nowadays you know you have those kinds of faces um let me just pick up a little picture on the palette okay so the purple shade is very beautiful and i did talk about this palette in a recent video the an, another anti haul but the placing wasn't correct and they had changed the placing a little bit just a small bit but i have to say to be honest this is the most beautiful palette they have ever done when it comes to the the front the woman with the i don't know the crown it's just and the white background it's just so elegant it's just so beautiful and for that only i would love to buy it but when i open it it feels like if i were to remove the green and the purple i would have a neutral palette uh, so i am really on the fence for this palette because honestly if i were to purchase this i would only pay for the purple and the green shade and the thing is this is regarding ColourPop as well they have so amazing prices that if i say that i don't want to purchase something and then i go to their website and i'm i'm going to purchase something and then i'm like well let me take this palette as well it's no money so but for right now i am gonna pass on this i um i will not go over graves or go over dead bodies to get this palette i will actually wait if beauty bay gets it sometime i might pick it up but probably not i have another palette i'm gonna talk about as i said in the beginning of this video it feels like in every single video i do i including too faced and ColourPop, and today is no exception today is no exception i will include ColourPop in this video as well i have talked about this a lot. Colourpop is releasing too much. The same with Too Faced. Colourpop is releasing a humendous amount of products and I can't keep up. Every time I check on Trend Mood, they have released a new uh, palette and then they released a new shimmer palette and then they released five new shades of liquid lipstick and then they released like a old matte palette. And then they, I mean, they just release so many things that I can't keep up. They are like constantly having new babies, new babies, and I'm still trying to like learn the, the old babies' names. And this is no exception, and I don't really know what they were thinking when they released this palette. This is the Double and Tendre. Is that the way you say it? This is $16, and yeah, it's not a lot of money, but it's browns. 
and what <sighs> can I just say no we all know why I don't want to purchase this palette this is insane okay it's not insane because it's makeup but <sighs> why why did they release this palette I don't know it's beige with that note I will end this video. Are you going to pick any of these products up or not? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Now we have entered December and I will try to upload five videos a week or more. So let me know which days you like to, me to upload on. I think that I will skip on Friday and Saturday. But, and upload all of the other days but if you want it another way let me know and I will try to fix that for you guys and make everyone happy and also give me video ideas if you have some because I'm going to record a lot the past few weeks or the yeah I'm going to record a lot these come upcoming weeks but anyway that was all from me today I really hope that you enjoyed this video and uh, I will see you in the next one bye